Hi, my name is Tommy and I'm really pleased to welcome you to my Pilates flow. This Pilates class will give your body a great workout, but incorporating proper breathing, it helps focus a busy mind too. Once we are finished, you should notice a sense of joy from the endorphins and happy hormones released in your body. So try to make this a regular practice to create more joyful moments in your life. So when my mind is busy, I like to connect with my breathing, activate my muscles to ground myself for the rest of the day. So are you ready? Then please join me on the mat. Before we start activating the muscles, I would like you to connect with the breathing. So let's come sit down on a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block at home, please get a pillow or a book. And just close your eyes. Just notice your breathing. Try to relax your face. Try to sit upright. Press your sit bones into the block. Crown of the head towards the sky. And we inhale through the nose. And exhale through your mouth. Inhale, try to find that three dimensional breathing. And exhale, softening your sternum, your chest, relaxing your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, release. Now roll your shoulders a couple of times back just to release some tension. For three, for two, and for one. And inhale, lift your shoulders all the way up towards your ears. Exhale, drop. One more. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, drop. All right. So let's remove the block. Put the block aside. And let's lay down on your back. So make sure your feet are on the edges of the mat. Your knees are together and your arms alongside your body. Let's take two deep, long breaths, in all through your nose. And exhale, let go of any tension in your hips and your knees, make them as heavy as possible. Inhale. Exhale, release. And slowly open your knees, bring the soles of the feet together into a butterfly stretch. And let's take three deep, long breaths. Inhale. Exhale, so release your knees, your hips. And if you feel space between your lower back and the mat, that's totally fine. Release your toes. And slowly bring your knees all the way back together. Now lift your knees up towards your chest, hands on your knees. Create little circles to the right, just to massage your lower spine. Try to be as present as possible. And slowly towards the other side. And place your feet on the mat. All right, now let's grab the block and place the block between your thighs. Heels in line with your sit bones and place your hands behind your head. Now lengthen the back of your neck. So make sure you keep that lower back into the mat while we lift up. So we inhale through the nose. Exhale, lift your upper body up. Press your lower back into the mat. Now we inhale, stay up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, stay down. Exhale, come up. Make sure you press your lower back into the mat. Lengthen the back of your neck. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. And again, inhale. Exhale, press your lower back into imprint. Now stay up, breathe into the sides of your rib cage. Exhale, we lower it down. We do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale, lift up. Inhale. Exhale, lower it down. All right. Now bring your arms alongside your body, your palms facing down, and lift your knees into tabletop. So your knees align with your hips, shins parallel to the mat. Inhale. Exhale, lift up. Press your lower back into the mat. Now draw the shoulders away from the ears. Now, inhale, lift your arms up, exhale, lower down. Make sure your hands are aligned with your shoulders and lift up and exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up and exhale, lower down. Make sure you squeeze into the block so we activate the inner thighs. And if you want to challenge yourself, you can always stretch your legs all the way out 
Now try to make your belly as flat as possible. So belly bottom goes all the way in down towards the spot. Press your lower back into the mat. Last breath, inhale up and exhale slowly lower down. All right, hug your knees all the way in, hands on top of your knees and slowly remove the block. Now extend your right leg all the way out, flex your right foot and your left foot. Now make sure your left knee is in line with your left hip. Place both hands behind your head for support. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, rotate. Bring that right armpit towards your left knee. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, come up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. One more time. And up and slowly down all right collect your legs hands on top of your knees take one deep breath and bring your legs back in tabletop now extend your left leg all the way out now flex both feet hands behind your head lengthen the back of your neck inhale through your nose exhale contract your abdominals rotate towards that right knee inhale back down exhale come up inhale down exhale come up Inhale down and up. Inhale down and up. Last one and up and slowly down. All right, hug your knees, take one deep breath and slowly place your feet on the mat. All right, now grab the block again or your book or your pillow. Place the block between your thighs. Hands alongside your body, inhale through your nose. And exhale, slowly press your lower back into the mat, lift your hips up, and the sun is shining again. All right, now lift your heels all the way up, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, and let's pulse the hips up, four, up, and up. Now make sure you contract your abdominals, so keep your ribs soft and in, and up, for the last five, and four, and three try to spread your toes for two and for one inhale exhale slowly lower down your spine trying to find that length between your vertebrae for two and one drop your hips bring your heels down towards the floor and lift your knees up towards your chest remove the yoga block and scoop your feet up towards the front of the mat and come into a seated position all right, now find your sit bones and try to sit upright. So your shoulders on top of your hips. And if you have tight hamstrings, tight lower back, you could always bend your knees slightly. Now place your hands on top of your shoulders. Make sure we keep the shoulder blades away from the ears. Inhale through your nose. And exhale, we rotate to the right. Inhale, back center, lengthening your spine. Exhale, rotate to the left. Inhale, back center, and rotate to the right. And inhale, long spine, exhale, we rotate to the left. Now keep on flexing your feet, so the toes towards your shin, heels away from you, lengthen the back of your leg. And one more time, and slowly come back center. All right now, bend your knees, place your heels in line with the sit bones, arms to the front in a long spine exhale go behind your sit bones move that right arm all the way away from you look towards your fingertips exhale come all the way up in towards the left side exhale come up you feel the difference between sitting on top of your sit bones and behind your sit bones and exhale to the left in all back up Make sure you keep the shoulders away from the ears. And, and to the left. And back to center. All right, now find your sit bone. Sit on top of it. Now bring your chin slightly towards your chest. Now find that C curve. Now reach your arms all the way to the front. Draw the shoulder blades down. Crown of the head towards the fingertips. Now breathe into the sides of your rib cage. Inhale. Exhale, go behind your sit bones. Inhale, go up and over. Exhale, go behind. 
you know, up and over, axle behind. So really try to connect with the breathing. For the last two. And one. And go behind your sit bones. All right, let's push your arms. So make sure you keep the shoulders low again. Now contract your abdominals. Feel that rib pelvis connection. And just try to enjoy it. Try to feel the sensations running through your body. Feel that strong core. And they say, strong core is a strong mind. So let's take two more deep, long breaths. And slowly come all the way up. Now bring the soles of the feet together, your knees outwards for the butterfly stretch. And if you feel some tightness in your lower back, then make sure you move the heels slightly further away from your sit bones. So you have more space for flexion. So let's take a couple breaths. Try to relax your shoulders. And try to sink into the stretch without forcing it. Just use the body weight. Take one more deep inhale. And exhale, slowly round your spine up every single vertebrae. And come sit upright. All right, let's go straight into an all fours. So place your hands aligned with your shoulders, knees aligned with your hips. And open the shoulder blades, open your sit bones. Drop your belly, look towards the front, and exhale, curl your tailbone on the round your spine, lower spine, mid spine, crown of the head towards the mat. And inhale, open, open your sit bones, open your chest, and exhale, curl your tailbone, low back, mid back, upper back, crown of the head down towards the mat. Let's stay here for two deep long breaths just to find and breathe through that stiff part of your spine. Now try to release any tension in your neck. Try to drop your head as much as possible. And exhale slowly, come back to your neutral spine. All right. Now stretch your right leg all the way out. Make sure you keep your hips as square as possible and place your left hand on top of your lower back. Now make sure you keep that right kneecap towards the mat and don't sink into that right shoulder. Try to press yourself away and let's create little circles to the right. Little circles with your toe around a tennis ball. Just moving from that right hip joint and don't forget to breathe. And we go the other way around, little circles. Little, little circles with your toe around a tennis ball. Now make sure you contract your abdominals, sliding your ribs towards your pelvis, and slowly extend your left arm all the way out. Now inhale, round your spine, elbow to knee, chin to chest, exhale, extend it all the way back out. And again, inhale, round your spine, exhale, extend it all the way out, and round your spine, chin to chest, Exhale, extend it all the way out. One more. And round your spine. Exhale, extend it all the way out. All right. Now slowly place that left hand on the floor and place your right knee on the mat. Now bring your right foot all the way through. Make sure your right knee is in line with your right heel and your hips are in line with your left knee. Now place both hands on your hips. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Make sure your ribs are closed. Inhale through your nose. And exhale, bring the weight towards the front. Stretch that whole left side. Stretching that left hip flexor. And try to activate your abdominals. Squeeze your sit bones. And slowly come back up. All right, now tuck your left toe under. Now reach your arms all the way to the front. Make sure the shoulders are away from the ears. We inhale, exhale, lift that left knee up. Inhale, tap the floor, exhale, lift it up. Now make sure we keep the shoulders on top of the hips for the last three and for two. 
and slowly bring your left knee down all right let's come all the way up and place both feet into a second position so your feet are pointing outwards and your hands are behind your head make sure you keep your ribs close and contract your abdominals now bend your knees and make sure your knees are in line with your feet with your toes now press the heels into the floor now open your open your legs sit bones to the front and let's pull sit down forward down and down now try to lengthen the back of your neck by supporting support of the hands and for five and four now squeeze your sit bones don't forget about the abdominals and three four two and four one inhale through your nose and exhale slowly let's come all the way down towards the mat and let's do the other side so place both hands in line with the shoulders knees in line with the hips now make sure we keep the shoulder blades far apart from each other so imagine i put my hand between your shoulder blades and you want to press it away yes now tuck your tummy in contract your abdominals to support your lower back now stretch your left leg all the way out just point your toe so your kneecap is towards the mat now place your right hand on your lower back and let's create little circles to the left so little circles with that left leg so we're moving from that left hip joint make sure you keep the eyes down towards the mat and again with your toes around a tennis ball another skippy ball little circles and the other way around and take two more breaths make sure you keep pressing in that left palm chest away from the mat and slowly reach your right arm all the way out now in around your spine elbow to knee chin to chest crown of the head towards the mat axle extend it all the way up in around your spine elbow to knee chin to chest axle extended all the way out and there we go now really make sure you're finding that c curve in your rounding and the last two last one and slowly place your right hand on the floor scoop your left leg all the way through place your heel on the floor now place both hands on your hips draw the shoulders away from the ears before we move on make sure you contract your abdominals to support your lower back now we inhale through the nose exhale bring the weight all the way to the front now make sure you squeeze your sit bones lift your tummy in now finding that length on your right hip flexor and slowly come back up all right now tuck your right toes under now reach your arms to the front draw the shoulders away from the ears now again before we lift that right knee make sure you contract your abdominals inhale through your nose exhale lift that right knee up inhale lower down exhale lift it up now press your left heel into the floor from some extra support and two more for two and one now reach your arms up towards the sky bring your elbows into a 90 degree angle keep the shoulders away from the ears inhale through your nose exhale rotate to the left inhale back center and rotate to the right inhale back center and rotate to the left now make sure you keep the hips as still as possible inhale back center and rotate to the right inhale back center now reach the arms to the front press that left heel into the floor and slowly lower down that right knee down okay now let's go back into a standing position grab the yoga block and place the block between your thighs now reach your arms to the front draw the shoulders down and now sit down into that deep squat now make sure you bring the weight towards the heels stabilize your shoulders and you know we come up so we sit down on that low chair you know come all the way up and exhale lower down you know up and exhale lower down last two and last one now find that deep squat now make sure you keep your ribs close 
contract your abdominals and I'll reach your arms all the way backwards. Now finding that neutral spine, draw the shoulders away from the ears. So imagine you need to hold a pen between your shoulder blades and I'll push your arms up for eight and seven. Now make sure you bring the weight towards the heels. If you want, you can lift your toes and four, four, three, four, two, and for one, reach your arms all the way up. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, press the heels into the floor and come all the way up into a standing position. All right, place your hands into a prayer position and sit down in that deep squat again. Now we inhale, we open the heart, open the chest, keep the sit bones slightly open. Exhale, round your upper spine, chin to chest. Inhale, open your heart. And exhale. Now really try to keep your hips as still as possible. Squeeze into the block. Connect all the dots. And last one. And slowly come all the way up. All right. Now remove the block. Let's lay down on your stomach. And let's activate some back extensors. So you can open your feet slightly wider than hip distance apart. Place your hands on top of each other. Now make sure you draw the shoulders away from the ears. Full hand on top of your hands. Now try to relax your butt and activate your core and your back extensor. So we inhale through the nose. Exhale, lift your upper body out. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale up. And for the last two, squeeze your shoulder blades. And try to slide your shoulder blades away from your ears. And last one. All right, shake your hips. Try to release some tension in your lower back. And reach your arms all the way alongside your body with your palms facing up. Now, your nose is down towards the mat. Now, if you want, you can squeeze your legs all the way together like a mermaid. Now, we inhale through the nose. And exhale, lift your upper body up. Now try to keep your lower ribs on the mat. And let's pulse the arms up for eight and seven. Now again, think about that bend between your shoulder blades to squeeze for four. Reach your fingertips towards your toes. Crown on the head is shooting to the front for two and for one. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, all lower down all right shake your hips great job now place your hands close to watch your shoulders lift yourself all the way up and come into a yoga child's pose now open your knees pick those are touching and slowly come up all right that was it for today let's come back to the breathing do a little stretch now please get the yoga block and let's sit on top of it like we did in the beginning of class. Place your hands on your thighs and notice your breathing. And especially feel the difference in your body before class and now. Hopefully you feel a bit stronger. Try to enjoy that feeling. All right. Now reach your arms all the way up towards the sky. Interlace your fingers in front of your face. And when we actually draw the belly bottom in, round to spine, chin to chest, and slowly come all the way back on top of your sit bones. Keep your shoulders low. Now release your hands. Interlace your fingers from the back. Now we inhale, we reach the chest up towards the sky, reach your arms away from the mat, look up, exhale, release your hands, round your spine, belly in, finding that C curve, and slowly come back on top of your sit bones. Right now, place your left hand on the mat, reach your right arm all the way up towards the sky, and go all the way towards that left side. Make sure you keep that right sit bone down into the mat, keep that right shoulder away from your ears. Reach the fingertips away and slowly come back center. All right, let's do the other side. So place your right hand on the floor. Reach that left arm all the way up and over. 
keep that left sit bone into the mat. Close your ribs, draw that left shoulder away from your ear and slowly come back center. All right now, reach both arms all the way up. Place your palms together in front of your heart. And let's take a couple more breaths. Take a moment for yourself. Just notice the difference. Notice your breathing. And try to be as present as possible for the rest of the day. Thank you so much for joining. Hope to see you soon. Namaste.